It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. throw right away a short throw to Musgrave this will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22 oh it's time to give a little credit there to the defense they played that very well because it was a drag route and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field he was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line but once he made the catch nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage second down long Escaping the pressure right. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Here we go. Here we go. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that'll be complete to Dillon. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the okay, defense, right? he uses their aggressiveness against them. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. To the air again, Love. Breaks a tackle. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. We hear them discuss red zone efficiency a lot, CD, and they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in the red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. You've got to secure it. They give them two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Now Jones. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. It's logical the air attack has gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Dylan is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Jones, and Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. A very early decision to be made here. There is, and I think that because they're the home team, I would ride that wave a little bit, and I would gamble and go for it. Doesn't seem like it's optimal, but you're the home team. You'll get the support of the crowd all game long. Go get it right now. Put six on the board. No score after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And the first play will be a field goal try. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. And his kick here is good. So three points on the board. As easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 21. Here's Mitchell now to kick off the drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A big run there, 29 yards to the first. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Hey, middle, middle, middle. They run over center with Mitchell. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 and the 36. Seven yards there and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, they go back to Mitchell. Dancing away at the 35. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game of the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Play action. Now Jackson. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Isaiah Likely. A 22-yard touchdown Brown, And the Ravens have taken the lead. Tucker with the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Nixon now from his end zone. 
And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Let's go. Second and 11. Ready? Throwing. Love. Who finds his receiver, Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. 13 yards, first down, Packers. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 42 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Love. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Ready. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Ready? Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And they'll come up second and seven. To throw now. Here's Love. This is caught. And it's a Packers touchdown. Christian Watson. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Packers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line, set to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 
And they get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now it's Jackson. And this is into the hands of Andrews downfield. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with ten seconds to go before halftime. Second and ten. Throwing is Jackson. They're looking deep here for Flowers. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly, yeah. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Zero turnovers in this game so far. The trend continues, but barely. Offense lucky that that one went out of bounds. Yeah, they're very fortunate because when a game's going hey. along like this one and neither side has turned the ball over, sometimes that first one can really flip things to their advantage in this type of a game. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On second down, here's Jackson. Complete to Likely. And he's got Rome. And they'll work this down to the 40 yard line. Tackled there. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him the first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. 
He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, They've been on their heels this oh, drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive is going pretty well. I could come right back at them. Jackson Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. They go play action now. Jackson looking left side, and it's complete. Touchdown! Isaiah Likely with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Nixon now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Ready! Final minute now of the third quarter. Love looking to throw it. Man open, here is Jones. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 47 yards. I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, Remember, we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope someone will come free. First down, going to the air with Love. He'll complete this one to Watson. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Number nine, Christian Watson. It's a game of 10. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Here we go. They couldn't we ask go. for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. And he whips that one incomplete there. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Forced out to his left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Saying not so fast to a good drive. It works to the end zone the last time out. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Aaron Jones. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. 
And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 42. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football. Took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 52 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you've got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, that led to a really nice game. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. First down, here's Mitchell. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked out before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Rashawn Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. And now Jackson will look to throw it. That's complete with Zay Flowers with it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 28. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. He's got a man. That's caught. Left side line. Try the option on first and goal. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. I think we just saw an example of a game situation that I know is discussed, practiced to the nth degree, go right out the window, and a chance to win the game as well. Yeah, protect the football on the other yeah, side. You're taught to get in there and rake it out. They did just that. I mean, they go over this starting in OTAs in mini camps. You go through these situations, and that's the way a lot of teams like to end practice. Finish it off with this type of a drive, kick the game-winning field goal. Everyone feels good and heads to the locker room. In this case, though, they're not going to feel so great about it. Red, yellow. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down.
Ready? They'll run here with Dillon. And he'll be stopped just outside the five of the six. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. another kneel down as he'll try to set up the game winner. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Now Love. Touchdown, Packers. Romeo Dobbs, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. They get one more as the extra point's up and good, and they will take a seven-point lead. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. Come up first and ten here. Ready. Ready shot. Jackson to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44 yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring ready, out, ready. okay, where is he going with the football? Check, because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, Check. but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And he has a Packer first down, and that should be the one that finishes the script. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the Let's first half. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trail coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. Excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gawk. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.